Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to next one. This is a continuation of a test sigma tutorial. And in this we are going to uh, learn how we can execute our test on a real time browser or a platform. I am using a, this machine and I wanted to execute the test on a same machine. Because in previous video we have seen we are executing on a different labs browsers which are running on a cloud and I have to wait till the time my tests are completed so if i have a long test and there are certain st steps like a 20 or 25 or 50 steps and it took let's say it is taking a uh, five minutes or three minutes to execute the test so in the time i have to wait and i have to check the result why it is failing and all this stuff so before instead of that if i am running my test on my machine and uh, if it is failing somewhere in middle of somewhere and I want to stop the execution, I can stop and I can fix that issue and I can again quickly rerun the test. So to do that, how can I configure local machine with a test sigma platform? So let's discuss after a small intro before moving forward. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Fundu Testers. Camera rolling action. So basically we are at a dashboard of a test sigma and here we are saying various options available. So basically what we have to do, we have to configure uh, this website somehow with machine, whatever machine we are working on. So here I have a Mac as of now, if you have Windows, uh, so steps will be pretty much similar. So what we have to do, we have to go to the here agents option. So uh, once we are clicking on agent uh, there there is a one option to download agent basically agent is a executable software or uh, it's a zip file we have to extract a zip file and we have to just define a path so i'm clicking on a download agent and there are certain so options available make dmg file which means executable files so basically we have two types of file executable and once we are going to configure with a path so in windows we have a bin file on mac we have dmg file like that so i'm using a mac i am going to download a dmg file or i can download the zip file as well and for a windows you can download a exe file linux you can download a bin file and for a docker documentation is available uh, available i'm clicking on dmg file it will start downloading so here i can see the it has downloaded and we just need to like a usual software we have to just click click and just install the software so once installation is done no need to do anything we just need to start the software or start an executable file so here i am writing a test sigma agent and i can see it's like a normal software we are opening a chrome or we are opening a mozilla or any other applications like uh, paint or powerpoint or office similar way we have to open a test sigma agent on a machine uh, i'm opening and it is starting here it is showing the process basically i have opened test sigma agent test sigma agent it is it looks like this there is a nothing to do here we have basically it looks like a terminal and logs will keep running and once we are executing the test uh, logs will keep coming so in between also we can debug the log as well and apart uh, once we have installed and uh, started a test sigma agent on a machine we just need to go to the add agent and it will automatically scan everything and here we have to specify the machine and uh, we can give the title let's i'm going to give fundu testers and the port number also it will basically it will automatically scan and we will get information of a port here so 8080 is a free port on my machine so i can keep 8080 or i can use 8585 or something like that and https port so there are basically http and https port you can use any basic one or you can change anything and there are other two options available uh, visible to everyone which means there are uh, multiple testers using the same project and you want to uh, basically highlight the http port or uh, which ports are used on uh, your machine you can do that if you want to hide this information you can also do that so basically i am 
hiding the information and I'm clicking on a save button. So once it is done, if I'm click on a fundu testers. So here I have created a one agent and it is visible to only me. We can see that it is on OS because my machine is OS. So it has basically scanned the entire uh, uh, machine. You can see the detail is a Mac. Uh, available browsers. I have installed uh, three browsers. So it is showing uh, Chrome, Firefox and Safari. I can delete this. Even I can update this or if I'm adding a new browser, it will automatically reflect it here. So now basically let me go to the test development and let me run the test on a local environment. So it will see once uh, my execution will start, I will see the browser is opening and something is magic is happening inside my machine and all these things. So I'm going to run the test. Here I have to specify the local devices and my machine is a Fundu testers. I am specifying the machine is Fundu tester. I'm running on a Chrome. So here also I'm seeing a three different options. Chrome, Mozilla, Safari. I'm selecting a Chrome and run now. So it should open browser on a machine. Yes, so we can see browser has opened. We are seeing it is running on. It has opened the test Sigma travel website. It is entered a admin password and login clicked on a login button so like this we can execute test on a local devices as well and we can configure the local devices i hope this video is useful for everyone and if you have any doubts feel free to reach out to me in a comment section or drop me an email and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu testers thank you